What's up everybody, my name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today, we are gonna talk about why video games suck now. Now, of course, there is plenty of good video games out. Um, you know, a lot of them stuck around, like Halo, Tekken, there's, there's some good ones. Um, the newer ones, like Fortnite, Apex, those are pretty cool. Like I, like, I like Fortnite a lot, you know. I know everybody hates on it, but it's a really good game and it, you know, you got to thank the fact that games are free now because of Fortnite. Games are free because of Fortnite. Fortnite set that standard. They were like, you know what? I want to make a game. And they're like, fuck having them pay for it. Let's just put it out for free. And then people can buy stuff in the game if they want to. And it will not change the quality of your gameplay. It's not going to make you... It's a purely aesthetic like, it's your look, it's customization. And that's smart because it's like, if I got a game for free, right? I have no problem spending money in the game, especially if it's free. If it's free in my head and I love it and there's something cool in the game to buy, what I do is I'm like, okay, I'll at least spend $60 because it's like that game is worth $60. So I have no problem spending up to $60. I don't try to specifically, set, you know, spend $60, but. I, I will up to it at least and sometimes past it if the game's that good and you care that much about your aesthetic. But anyways, went on a little ramble there. That's an awesome game, obviously. It's a huge influence on games. Now, again, that was one of the good games. Again, Apex Legends, all, all the new Battle Royale. It's really cool and it's really cool that it's free. So thanks Fortnite for that. You know, you can hate it on all you want, but you didn't pay for all those games you've been playing because it's free because of Fortnite. Yeah, that's right. So, but yeah, the reason games suck now is because, so what happened in the early days was everybody who made a video game wanted to make a video game, right? There was a bunch of game developers. They wanted to make it. They'd go to publishers, you know, they'd work out deals. Now, because gaming is so huge, okay, so like this is gaming, right? In the 90s, not making nearly as much as today. And now there's the gaming industry is way up here, right? And they're making about the same as some huge companies, you know, huge like companies that are, you know, universally shopped at, like for families and whatnot. And so the gaming industry breached that much profit. And now other companies were like, what's that? What's that over there? Gaming. I've never done gaming. I didn't know you could make billions in gaming. You know what? Chuck. Let's make a video game. game. <laughs> and then we'll have all the money in the world. <laughs> And that right there is why games suck is because a bunch of companies that don't make video games come in, make video games to try and make money. They're not looking at it and like, like their art project. They're looking at it like, what, what can I get back from this? Okay. Call of Duty's popular, right? So let's make a game like Call of Duty. But the problem with that is it's going to suck. Call of Duty in my opinion, it's a little overrated, but it's a popular one, so we'll use that example. If Call of Duty's Call of Duty, right, and you're trying to make a game that's like Call of Duty, it's not going to be as good. So you're not going to hit those same numbers that Call of Duty would for sales. And you should stop copying shit, and you should only make video games if you fucking want to make video games. Don't just come in our zone and try and take money and then give us poo-poo instead i don't like it true game developers should be in it anyone who's in it just for the money like anything else get out of here you're not you're not the hardcore you know you're not the passionate you're here to make a buck which is cool just you know don't shell out bullshit if you want to make money make something good have you ever noticed the series that had a solid core awesome first one did well typically and then you know Depending on the series, two can be awesome too, right? Like Halo, Halo went up to three, Reach, four, five. That's that's a good example of a series that really kept it going. And then you got other series that two was like not as good, but three and four were like way worse. And then you're like, why are you even making video games still? And it goes all back to what I just said, which is they're just trying to make money. Again, nothing wrong with making money. It's just I get a little mad when you try to make money in, in something I love so much, the gaming industry. And you care about it so much that you shell out fucking garbage to the fans. 
You know, I don't like it. That's generally generally why gaming suck now is because there's a lot of companies getting into gaming and they're like, oh, let's, you know, it's a business to them. It's not like the old days where you got a couple kids in, the, in a garage with a couple computers grinding out some amazing game, you know, some epic, iconic video game. You know, it's not like that. Now it's a company that was doing something else being like, let's do that instead. Do you have an experience? <laughs> no. Why would I need experience? It's money. We'll just make it to sell money. What makes money? Call of Duty, right? Or make it like Call of Duty. And the vicious circle continues. Luckily, I think, bringing back to Fortnite, I think Call of Duty was heavily influential. Obviously, there's a ton, ton of games that copied it. Um, and Fortnite is, I think, just such a better game. And I, I know, like, the younger crowd will probably love and agree with that. And the older crowd will be like, ah, I don't think so. But I've, I've played a good amount of both. And I tell you, Fortnite is truly innovative. They... They stepped it up. There's constantly changing and creating, changing the map, adding vehicles. There were these little, like, balls and chains you could swing around as vehicles. They brought the planes, they, different customization, like, the the whole building thing. People people are like, oh, I, I just, I played it, and it's like, I couldn't get the hang of the building. It's like, yeah, that's like the game, bro. Why don't you get the hang of it, try and get decent at it, and then judge. Don't play for 20 minutes. Be like, it sucks, you know? <laughs> you're not going to get anything done that way but yeah um that's basically why gaming sucks now overall and again not all gaming sucks there's still plenty of good series out there i just think comparing the two if you were to grab a random game off the shelf in a video game store play it the chance it will suck i think is pretty high like suck as in like it's not awesome right sucks let's just say sucks <laughs> but if you were to do that in like say maybe the year 2000 i think is a really good year because all the you know pre-owned games were solid up until then and it was still innovating right big time creativity graphics and story and being unique for once you know the year 2000 if you pick up a random game off the shelf i'm willing to bet it's at least 50% better than it would be today. You know, any random game, you pick a random game, alphabetical order, I think it, if you were to do that in the year 2000, you would have much more success at finding a game that's fun to play and that's somewhat more original. You know, everything influences everything, you know, but when you can, when you can give me a truly unique game, like for example, Mirror's Edge, that is a huge one. Most people I know, maybe everyone I know who's played it through, loves the game and some people are like oh i couldn't get into it. I, it you know i didn't it didn't look fun or whatever and it's it's not something you can understand until you play that game mirror's edge is so unique the story is so cool the animation like kind of anime slash comic book cutscenes, the sounds in the game the music the the original sounds and soundtrack are insane in that game and they're so fitting this like this like hyper white city super blue sky and everything you are involved with is black and red which is like that's very cool it's a cool off-put aesthetic and you are a runner and you basically deliver packages on the top of buildings you just run around it's parkour and then you get just how you navigate the level and the maneuverability is is awesome so i'm going to give a real good plug to mirror's edge if that's honestly probably a top 10 video game for me um that's a must play mirror's edge unique that it's awesome. I remember I went to GameStop and I was looking to get Mirror's Edge and this this fucking nerd behind the counter was like, no, dude, you got to get Left 4 Dead. Mirror's Edge sucks. And I was like, dude, I played Left 4 Dead. It's cool. But it's like, you know, I was done after like a, a week. It was all right. He's like, oh, no, it's the best game in a while. He's like, you really shouldn't get Mirror's Edge. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up and ring me up, dude. I'm not asking you. Let me buy the game I came in for. He's like, okay, yeah, whatever, man. I was like, dude, chill out, okay? And I was just like, it threw, it didn't, it like threw me off. I was like, what the fuck? What's wrong with this guy? He's like, got something against Mirror's Edge. He's a fucking boob, that's why. <laughs> but I, I grabbed Mirror's Edge. This was at the, um, the Natick Mall, uh, the GameStop in the Natick Mall, I remember. There's like two or three in there, but it was the bottom one near the food court. And, uh, yeah, I took Mirror's Edge home, and it was amazing. 
guys. I'm telling you, that game, it, it's got its own feel. The story is unique. The graphics are unique. You know, everything. Everything about it has its own identity. And that's what I love. And that's why it's hard to find games like that nowadays. Is because it's, you know, it's a big business now. So in their mind, it's profits, profits, profits first. That's what companies do. They focus on profits, right? Some focus on the quality as much as the profits. Like Valve, you know, Valve is awesome. But, you know, they should really get on Half-Life 3. But we'll talk about that in a different video. But, yeah, some people keep the quality. Some people don't. But the newer companies and, like, where, where they've been going. Again, I like the Battle Royale. I think it's a lot better than that sort of Call of Duty run and gun. I think it's cool they added another factor like aspect to it you know and uh yeah again this is you know this is just my whole over generalization of why i think games suck now like on average there's still a ton of good ones still still plenty of series lingering around that are awesome but i just wanted to talk about it because it really bugs me you know they're in they're in our space guys like they're trying to make money here and that's cool again but you gotta have quality content or get the fuck out okay it's just that simple. If you're going to make games, make them good. And don't fuck around. Because you're going to piss me off. <laughs> but thanks again for watching, guys. What What's your um, what's your big problem with the gaming scene? Or the gaming industry? What's what, what, what really grinds your gaming gears, right? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you all for coming in and listening to me rant about the things I don't like about the gaming industry. And, and some things I do like. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one. Thanks again, guys.